Hi, I'm a smoking elk, and welcome to my barbecue shack. So this behind me is my barbecue shack that also doubles up as my barbecue school. A lot of you have been asking to do a little tour of the shack since it's been built. So this is it. I'm going to talk you through the structure. I'm going to talk you through what's inside, what I love about it. Hopefully you're going to love it too. This beautiful oak frame here was built by a company called HB Oak Frames in Kent and I couldn't be happier with the work that they did. Absolute warriors they were. Five of them came down and in the space of two days they knocked up this beautiful structure. So the roof has a slope pitch on it going towards the back which goes towards some guttering, obviously handy for the rain to just run off. And then this beautiful frame, you can see the workmanship that's gone into this. So you've got each of these supports that are in there have been notched in with these dowels. I mean, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So um, HB oak frames. And then we've added lots of nice little touches to it. So I've got these lights here. These are just bulkhead lights that I've got. They're not too bright. I use this socially as well as for a barbecue school. So they're not too bright, but they're enough to give us a nice bit of mood lighting in the evening. So we've got those on the outside. And then on the inside, we've got some festoon lights just going around all the way around the inside of the shack. Again, not too bright, but gives us a nice bit of mood lighting. And I've got some further kind of floodlights in there just to give it a bit more light for the barbecue classes as well. So that's the lighting. Let's have a look at the inside of the structure. So internally, part of the structure, we've got this cladding here, and this is just basically old pallets, reclaimed pallets. And again, the guys from HB Oak Frames came down, done it in a day, they've put all these pallets up, and they've gone down with a blowtorch and torched some of it to give it this lovely kind of different color that you've got on there. So I think it creates a really nice effect inside the shack. So I mentioned that my barbecue shack also doubles as a barbecue school. We need somewhere to sit people to eat the feast, eat the fruits of their labour at the end of the day. So I've got these two tables with benches here that come from Savage Barbecue and they are just a ticket for just sitting here and eating like kings. All right, we're going to talk through some of the toys that I've got in the shack now. Starting with this, this is my cold smoke box from a guy called uh, Gordon from Halifax Smoke Box. Exactly what it says on the tin is for cold smoking. So things like salmon, bacon, if you want to cure your own bacon, you've got all these shells in here. You put a cold smoke generator in the bottom there and you can create the most fantastic bacon. So that's my cold smoker. Obviously no shack is complete without beers. So I've got myself a lovely proper pub beer fridge here, which is good socially, but it's also good for the classes. And of course the telly to watch the football. Uh, moving on, we've got the Joe Junior here. Joe Junior is sat on this. Now, my missus got me this. It's actually branded the Smoking Elk on the top here. But my missus got me this for my 40th birthday. And inside, it doubles up as a drinks cabinet. Some of the stick, my bourbon, red wine, and anything else in there, but mainly bourbon. So that's my drinks cabinet. And of course, I do love a beer. So I've got my perfect draft machine that pours me the perfect ice cold pint of Stella. So one of the main centrepieces of the shack, and it, it certainly is a talking point, is this. This is my bry from the bry man. Now inside here is a whole lot of fun. This is if you want to cook with fire. So you put logs in the ember maker there. You have multiple different shelf configurations. You can have a rotisserie in there. You can have skewer attachment in there. Lots of possibilities for cooking with fire. It is a whole lot of fun. That's flued at the top of the shack uh, with a rain cover on the top. And then I've also got these side units now as well. So I've got these really heavy duty stainless steel worktop on top and then these drawers that have just got plenty of room in there to store things like your rubs and ingredients. It's really handy for my classes. And just to show you how much room you've got in there, I've got all my skewers and rotisserie attachments and all that kind of stuff in that drawer. And then we've got this large drawer down the bottom there as well for some of the kind of bigger bottles, oils, vinegars and all that kind of stuff. So superb on that side. And then we go to the other side. And again, another really heavy duty side unit here, just with some open shelves, which enables me to store more pots and pans, chopping boards and all that kind of stuff. So fantastic bit of kit there from the Brian man. And then just sat on top of it here, I've got my Gosney Rock Box, superb little pizza oven for knocking out pizzas in about 90 seconds. So let's move on. So this beauty up here on the wall, uh, my wife got me this as a gift. Lovely gift. This is actually real. It's a real skull. Uh, I believe it's a water buffalo. And just look at the intricate work that has been done on that. So I think it works beautifully in the shack. So that's a lovely bit of decoration. And then up here, we've got my spice rack. Now I'm a sucker for making sure all my spices are really organized. Maybe have a little bit of OCD when it comes to spices. So got this lovely spice rack up here with all in alphabetical order, lots of different chilies, lots of different chili flakes and chili powders and stuff and peppers. So here's my spice rack. And then we move on to this. So this unit here is an absolute beaut. This is from a company called Kamado Space. Um, I've had this for a couple of years now. Again, plenty of storage for rubs and things, really long drawers in there. 
They've actually just bought out a couple of new units. Um, so if you look up a company called Big Four Space, because they've rebranded, they've bought out a couple of new units now, so it's worth keeping an eye on those as well if you want somewhere to sit your Kamado, which is what I've got here. Obviously, I'm no stranger to a Kamado Joe. I'm actually a brand ambassador for Kamado Joe, so you'll notice throughout the shack, there's a few of these beauties just dotted about. This is my Kamado Joe Classic 3. It's the, probably the barbecue that I cook on the most. It literally does everything. It's a fantastic all-rounder and it does everything well. When we move over to the rest of them, I'll show you that we've got a little treat cooking in one of them. So we're going to check that one out in a minute. In this corner here, I have my master built. This is the master built 800. Again, it's a great all-rounder. It's good for smoking, but with the 800, you also get a griddle in there as well. So it's good for things like fire ups and stuff, which I obviously love. So we've got my master built there, but Watch this space soon because I've got something new and exciting that's going to be coming in this corner and you'll see it on my YouTube channel as soon as, I'm, as soon as I start cooking on it but there's something beautiful going to be going in this corner so watch this space. Obviously with the barbecue classes, lots of people to feed so I've got more plates, bowls, glasses and stuff up here. Tea and coffee making facilities and then just down here a couple of essentials like a fat fire for some really naughty chicken wings, instant pot for rice and other bits and pieces and some smoking wood here from a company called Love Logs who do fantastic um, wood chunks, charcoal and all that kind of stuff. Little hand wash sink here, again, really useful for the barbecue classes. And then I've got myself a dishwasher and a fridge freezer. So this slab here, this is where I teach my classes. This beautiful oak slab was from Caradoc Charcoal. They sent this down to me. It sits on a couple of oak barrels here and um, it's a perfect place for me to present to any of my classes. Lovely chopping board here from Kin Boards. And on a day like today, it's just beautiful standing here. I've got a nice outdoor space here with plenty of seating area, plenty more barbecues dotted around. And when the sun is shining, it is just a great atmosphere here. Everyone's standing around. We have some music on, everyone's eating food, having a few beers. So this is my happy space. So let's move on to these. So there, I have another Kamado Joe Classic 3. It's handy to have two, especially when I'm teaching at the classes. And here I've got the Big Joe 3, which is an absolute beast. And there's a little treat inside there now. So let's take a look. So, in here, I've got a barbecue class on today, so there's a little treat for that class. But we've already started cooking, look at that. A beaut of a brisket in there, this is actually a Wagyu cross brisket. It's been on for around about three hours now, so unfortunately you lot aren't gonna get to eat it, but people that come into the barbecue class are. So if you wanna find out about a barbecue class, head to my website at thesmokingelp.com. Hopefully see you there. So here's the outdoor space. We've got the seating area here. I've got essentials such as the toilet there and around the back I've got a, I've got a wash area around the back as well and some storage. Plenty of storage around here. And then you'll see dotted about the whole garden I've got a few other barbecues and outdoor fire cooking toys. So that is a very quick overview of my shack, my barbecue school. Remember, check out smokingelk.com and hopefully I'll see you at one of my classes soon.